kids and family and animals are, are trapped. No way out, no supplies, and the only way in or out is accessible by helicopter. Lake Lure, fire chief or assistant chief maybe, and he shut down the whole operation. No flight no. restriction when I went in. Uh, it, it went in place 20 or 30 minutes after the confronta confrontation. You know, I'm so proud of my son because in his last moments, he wasn't screaming for me. He was screaming, Jesus, Jesus, save me. Jesus, I hear you. Jesus, I'm calling upon you. And his wildest dreams and everything that he wanted to be was a superhero. And that was his goal in life. And instead, he's my hero because he reached for something past flesh, past, past human, past anything that even grown adults, I think, would reach for my son called out to the one God Almighty. Our house is back home destroyed and filling up with water. Um, the floors are caving in. Hundreds of people, that's happening to everybody around the city. You're telling us to go online to FEMA and apply and you'll get immediate uh, help for $750. Well, okay, I went on FEMA, I applied, and I immediately got denied uh, because apparently I have homeowner's insurance and that's going to cover that. And okay, sure, I know, it will. It'll get taken care of. Thank God we're all safe and alive. I know it's just things. It's a house, but it's not immediate. And I don't know, what is she talking about? I have no idea. Nobody I know has had immediate assistance. Nobody's $750, what, to our cash app? What are you going to give? How, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get this? So then... If we get the 750, that'll barely cover the groceries that we've all lost in our freezers and refrigerators and everything. Also, there's thousands of pine trees, just like this one, and oak trees and all these trees all over the entire city. Power lines are everywhere. They're ripped apart. Poles are down, transformers are down. It's gonna take weeks to get this repaired in some places. Mission Hospital was told, a private hospital, that they are going to go ahead and be the morgue center for body recovery. All of the Army Chinook helicopters you're seeing flying overhead, they are doing body recovery. FEMA said, and, and you can take this as a direct quote, said that they are too tied up at the border to send any more representatives. Yeah, at the border. So anyhow, I guess border control trumps whatever's going on here. So, they told Mission Hospital they are not sending refrigerated trucks so that they can stack the bodies up. And we also overheard that whatever fatality numbers you are hearing, and this is a quote, go ahead and add a couple of zeros. So FEMA's too busy with the border, a private hospital and the army are going to take over body recovery and private individuals with their private helicopters and their private planes are the ones who are flying in supplies. I was at Hangar 10, I was picking up supplies, there was a stack for the Cajun Navy, there was a stack that looked like it was ASPCA. These are all being sent by private individuals. FEMA is doing nothing. What are the states in the storm zone? What do they need after what you saw today? Oh, in the storm zone? Yes, sir. I don't know what storm they're talking about. The, uh, they said everything they need. Uh, they're very happy across the board. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. This all comes as the Biden-Harris administration spent over a billion dollars from a FEMA program on services for Mike. Well, I, I've been going all over South Carolina like most people I hadn't slept much, but look what's going on in Israel. Our friends in Israel are surrounded by people that want to kill them. We have to help our friends to keep the war over there from coming here.